first up, I'm gonna be adding two mini beads. Now these actually remind me of gumballs and it makes me really hungry for some gum, what about you? So I bought these beads, I thought these were really cute. Um, I'm trying to be all neat, but they keep rolling away from me all over my table and my floor, but we'll just go with it. So I got my beads in and guys, I think this is the prettiest combo ever. Let's see if I can keep them in my slime. This is a slightly sticky, a little puttyish slime. So let's see how this does. It's so far they're staying in. So I decided to add a little bit more just to see how much would this slime hold. Wow, this is a lot of beads. I can't believe it's holding all this. Oh, no, it's not. Do you see that? It busted through the back. Oh my gosh. I love the color of the slime though. And I'm actually surprised that it's not more crunchy. There's not really a crunch to the slime. I do believe this slime is done though. It will not hold any more beads. <laughs> Too many packaged peanuts. I've actually seen this done on Instagram and I've always wanted to do it. So I went to the store, bought me some peanuts and let's see how many we can add to this slime. Don't you just love the fun colors? I mean, I grew up and there was just white peanuts and they weren't even fun like this. So here we go guys. How many will it hold? Okay, so right away I noticed that my peanuts are doing something really weird. They're kind of making my slime smushy or uh, it's it's losing its, I don't know, slimeness. And the peanuts are kind of disintegrating. So I looked at the package and it said that they are biodegradable. Okay, so they are just killing my slime and it's really turning into a nasty mush. Mmm, it's getting really gross. <laughs> Ew, do you see it? Yeah, my slime is not so clear and pretty anymore. Mmm, kind of reminds me of some bad allergy season stuff, if you know what I'm talking about. So my slime was ruined, but I wanted to show you what these packaging peanuts actually do in water. Apparently they're made to just, you know, completely dissolve and you can actually build things with this. If you just wet the side of one and stack it on the other, you could actually build or sculpt, I don't know, a house, a cat, I don't know, however artistic you are. Um, Pretty cool though. Now we're gonna add too many disco balls. I've added some of these to slime in the past, but I never did it with this blue. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So I wanted to add too many to get an amazing crunch, possibly. Possibly, yeah, it's gonna be crunchy. All right, let's add in some more because I wanted more of a crunch. I gotta put too many in this slime. Can you say hollow? Because I can hollow. These balls, these styrofoam balls are amazing. They're crunchy and I love the glittery shine that they put off. It's so, so nice. Look at this, it's coming apart. I think I have enough styrofoam balls in this. Y'all stick around. We're gonna be adding some more ingredients to our too much slime and this is gonna be crazy. Don't go anywhere. Next up, we're going to be adding too many plastic discs. Now, I had these over a year, and I was like, what do I do with these? I don't know. And then I, it came up. I was like, oh, too many plastic discs. I have a video for that, so let's do it. I absolutely love all the colors that these discs come in. It just makes for a really bright, fun slime. If you've been following us on Instagram, at Will It Slime, you will have seen me do a Frisbee Toss Slime. I mean, this was like a year ago, maybe even longer where I just tossed a few into a, a dish. It was a pretty funny, funny slime, I thought. So yeah, go check us out on Instagram at Will It Slime. Hey guys, I don't think I can get any more disc in this. Um, I think this is about it. Oh, listen to that crunch. Too many pom-poms. That's so what you're gonna do next. So I'm gonna, I actually got 
three different sizes. I got this big one, this medium one, and guys, my favorite is coming up. It is the little tiny ones. They're so adorable. Uh, I might just have to make a slime with these tiny little ones because I love them so much. So I just smushed them into my slime and we're gonna see how much can this slime hold. So I was able to fit all my pom-poms in and now it's time to fold them in. Let's see if I can get them all to stay in this time. I love how colorful the slime is. Look at this giant pom-pom slime. It's so pretty. Now we're gonna make another fluffy slime and we're gonna add too much activator to the slime. So I'm starting off again with two bottles of glue to which I'm going to add in some food coloring because I want the color for the swirl and so you can see it because I got a white background, a white bowl, white glue, <laughs> it's not gonna work. So I decided to add this one pink. Again, if you don't have food coloring, not a big deal. And to that, I'm gonna add in some of my butter, my body butter, I guess it is. I don't have any lotion because yeah, yeah, I'm a slime with that lotion. So I add in a little bit of that and I mix it in and I'm adding this lotion in to um, make my fluffy slime stretch easier. To that, I'm also going to add in my shaving cream to make my slime fluffy, because we like fluffy slime. They make great pokes. If you've ever made fluffy slime, you know you have to add a lot of color because your shaving cream will eat your color. I say eat it, but it doesn't really eat it. It kind of like, um, I don't know, it takes over. Anyway, let's add some Stay Flow and activate this slime. So I'm gonna activate this and make it slime and I'm, it's gonna be the most perfect fluffy slime you've ever seen. And then I'm gonna do something horrible to it. guys it's time to add more activator because this one is adding too much activator and let's see what happens I'm just gonna pour in the whole stay flow bottle when I started squishing it it started just squirting uh, like the stay flow out and guys listen closely oh, it got me it got all over my shirt what I've discovered when doing this was when you add too much stay flow, uh, your slime becomes not a slime anymore. Not really, it kind of dissolved. It was really weird. I uh, thought it would get tough, but no, it didn't. So I decided to add some borax and then it got it, it got it. It got really um, spider webby like borax does. <laughs> this is really gross. I mean, it was just a mess. But I continued to play with it for probably about 10 minutes. And strangely enough, it started coming back together. I really think the borax helped it out because borax is so strong. But it was like a jiggly slime ball. I'm gonna be adding too much pigment. And just like glitter, guys, I don't think it's possible to add too much pigment, except that usually they turn all brown when you mix them up. Let's see what this one does. So I added all of my bright pigments. These are all I have left. I need to reorder like ASAP. So I added them and then guys, I decided, I have seen on Instagram where they use a spoon and they just kind of swirl it. So I wanted to try that out. I swear, this looks like a painting. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. I love this, it's like a sunburst or something. Guys, who else thinks this is amazingly beautiful? I love even the crumbles on the side of the slime. Oh my gosh. This is definitely aesthetically pleasing. I couldn't get enough of it, so I decided to go in with my hands and swirl it some more. I just wanted to really cover the entire slime. 
with this beautiful pigment. May I just point out the background? It looks like another piece of art behind it on the table. It's like it, I should snap a photo of that and hang it on the wall. So the pigments are mixing into the slime and they're making a really cool color slime here. It's, I don't think it's gonna end up brown. It's really orangey. I'm loving that orange. For our next too much slime, we're adding too many balloons. Now we've used balloons in the past for several other slime videos, and I thought this would be really cool to put too many blown up balloons in my slime. So here are all my beautiful colors, different sizes, and I'm gonna get them together and put them in slime. Draping slime over these balloons was much harder than it seemed, or I thought it would be. And I got aggravated and threw the slime down one, one point. This ended up being like a giant too much slime because <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was really big. I couldn't hold it in both hands. The balloons were bigger. Um, and I'm gonna save you the popping here. You don't have to listen to all of them pop, but the red one is coming up. Having the balloons blown up with slime was really fun, but even this, with the pop balloons, the colors are like a paint splatter in there, and it's really, really pretty. I love the color it brings to the clear slime, and the texture, you don't even feel them in there, so it's just a nice visual aesthetic. Up next, I'm gonna be adding too many styrofoam balls. Now, I layered the green, blue, and then pink. This is kind of like a giant, I don't know, ball pit that I've done before in the past, and I really, really have fun with it. And you see the clear slime being pulled up with those styrofoam balls in it. And this one got so big. It held so many styrofoam balls. It was, again, hard to hold because it is huge. I need bigger hands. So don't hate me, but I'm adding too much lipstick to my slime. I went to the Dollar Tree and I purchased about $20 worth of lipstick because I wanted to see how much lipstick I could put in this slime and it's going to tint my slime. So I thought I'd try that. So no hate please, because I only spend a dollar on each one of these and regularly lipstick's like six to eight dollars, which I don't spend. So uh, I think that's crazy. But anyway, that's just me. I'm not a total lipstick girl. I probably have like five lipsticks and yeah, I wear them maybe twice or three times a week. Oh my gosh, you're, you're probably dying out there. But anyway, anyway, we'll get through it. But I love the colors of these lipsticks. We got some purples, we got some pinks, and it really hurt me to cut that really purpley one up. It's very nice. So I did, I did hold one of those back for me because I want to wear that one. But anywho, let's mix these in and see what we get. Right away, I could tell this was gonna be fun because, well, well, not the part where they're falling out, but <laughs> smushing the lipsticks and smashing them between my fingers, guys, that was awesome. I really like it. Um, but I did notice this is really messy and it was getting all over me and all over my countertop that I'm working with. And yeah, it was making my slime very slick. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a mess. Yeah. I, I, I think I really do have way too many lipsticks in my slime. It was just an utter mess. But I kept mixing it up, hoping it would come together. And this is what I got. I'm sure I could have mixed up some more, but this is it. I 
saw these at a store and they're actually hair chalk, guys. I thought, wow, will this slime? So I got them and I'm gonna try it. Um, so I just decided to cut these with scissors and guys, this was so satisfying. Just the crunching, crumbling underneath my scissor cutting. Very satisfying. Isn't this a pretty color combo? I love the pink and blue. So I decided after this, I, why don't I try to muddle some to see if I could get finer chalk pieces. So I put a purple inside of my bowl and just started smashing it. And guys, oh my gosh, if you're frustrated, take it out on this hair chalk. It's amazing. I liked it a lot. So I just added that to my, my slime. And like I thought, the purple got a little finer in its little pieces, um, whereas the scissor cutting was a little more chunky. When I got done cutting up my pieces, um, I started mixing in and I was really wondering, was it going to mix in because it's not a pigment and it's not as fine as a pigment. This actually reminds me of crushed up crayons. Hmm, that might be an idea. So it turned out this really cool color. The, the big chunks are still separate, but they're somewhat coloring the slime. Um, it doesn't completely get colored, but it's kind of like a, I don't know, translucent purple. Next up, too much glitter. I mean, that's impossible, but we're gonna do it anyway. So I'm adding in my glitter to my slime, and my slime is more, it's a little bit thicker. Um, it has a slight stick to it. I, I personally like puttyish slimes. Um, and for this one, you don't need a sticky slime because glitter is going to stick to anything. I mean, if you've ever played with glitter, you know this to be true. I really like the crunch that is going between my fingers as I smush down this glitter into slime. Oh, it's amazing. These colors together, guys, this reminds me of like a little mermaid. A mermaid tail. That's what we'll call this one. It's so pretty. It's so thick that there's actually no pokes. They're silent pokes. Adding too much gum. I'm not going to add actually add it to anything. I'm just going to add it to itself because I'm going to make this no glue gum slime that uh, I personally love, and it was suggested to us to do by our Instagram follower. X Kate XX. Thanks so much, Kate. So here's Adam unpackaging uh, the three bags of bubble gum, and we actually had more, but they got eaten. So enjoy this little clip of us unwrapping all this gum. Kim smash his dreams. <laughs> so yeah, I had to smash his little pyramid he made because um, it's time to mix some slime. So I take my ball of bubblicious bubble gum and I get it wet there with some warm water. And I'm basically going to try and get all the sugars out so it will become a ginormous piece of gum slime. Yeah, who doesn't like gum? So after a bunch of stretching, this is what I got. There's still some sugars because you see it's very fibrous still, but, and it's a little stickier than I thought it would be and still very wet, even though I wiped my hands off several times to get them dry. It's just very sticky. It smells delicious. And so I can't help myself. I'm going to take me a bite of this stuff. Or maybe 10. Oh guys, you should you should have seen my cheeks. Oh my gosh. I just I just want to be a little crazy. So I just kept on taking bites and bites and bites. And maybe I could have stuck the whole thing in my mouth because that would have been crazy, but maybe next time I'll do that. <laughs> it was nom nom nom. The moment we've been waiting for, the OG video of Will It Slime. Toothpaste slime, we're gonna make too much of it. Actually, we're just gonna make a giant batch. So I have all my toothpaste and I'm going to put it in my bowl. Adam in the past has made toothpaste in several different ways. He's made no glue toothpaste in the microwave. And I mean, that's crazy, right? Um, he's made toothpaste, a giant one with a blender actually made my blender smoke and it like basically blew up 
And he's made toothpaste slime, ugh, toothpaste slime, in all different ways. So this is my turn to make it. So once I've poured in all my toothpaste, I'm gonna add in some glue. <laughs> Don't you just love the funny sounds of glue bottles? They, they crack me up. So let's stir up our toothpaste and our glue mixture. Once the glue and the toothpaste are incorporated completely, you're gonna add in some salt. And I have kosher salt here, so it's a little thicker, but we normally use the other table salt, but we were kinda out of it, so this works. So this was giving me a major arm workout, so I decided I, I'm gonna add this to my blender, and this is gonna whip it up with no manpower needed. So that's a plus for me because my arms were like screeching. They were, <laughs> it was working my muscles. I love watching the slime tear away from the sides of the bowl. That's so satisfying to me. Guys, if we had smell division, oh, you know it smells so fresh in here. So fresh and so clean, clean. Tis done. It's done. It's alive. All right. So let's get our toothpaste slime out of the bowl and onto our work surface. I want to show you this amazing toothpaste slime. This slime smells amazing. It does not have pokes, not really. Um, it does stretch some and fold over. It's slightly sticky because it's toothpaste, but it's one of my favorites. It's a really cool slime because it's made out of toothpaste. Hey guys, if you like this video, go check out our other videos on Will It Slime.